Hiya, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rosie Henshaw. If you're new here, then welcome. It's lovely to meet you. And if you're already existing, guys, then thank you so much for coming back. I really do appreciate it. So grab yourselves a nice cup of tea and some snacks. Mine is my Diet Coke treat that I'm going to have once in a blue moon. And uh, it's in my Rosie Flow mug by Emma Bridgewater. I said before, if you don't watch my videos and you're new here, I'm currently expecting baby number four. And... I am limiting my addiction to fizzy, so I literally am having one when I do the occasional haul video. So that's my little treat with you guys. You can enjoy it with me. Enjoy it, guys. Um, so today's video is a charity shop haul, which you would have seen in the title anyway. I've literally just got back from doing the charity shop, shopping. Um, I actually done a load of laundry, run and got the kids, come home, and I thought I'm gonna film it because I know once I wash all of this, I'm gonna wanna put it all out in their places. Um, so I'm gonna show you, I managed to get some really amazing bits as well. Come on, we know that this is my opportunity to bring fizzy, so you're gonna to have to see a few little fizzy sips throughout the video, I imagine. So yesterday I went to a charity shop in Colchester. Um, I did not know that this was a, a charity shop. So if you're, if you're familiar with Colchester, it's opposite the entertainer like a children's um, toy shop. Now, it looks like a boutique. I did not know, I did not have a clue in the faintest that it was actually a charity shop until they had a little chalkboard outside yesterday. I was in Colchester and it said, all new items, charity shop, please feel free to donate and stuff. And I thought, well, actually, it's a charity shop, I'll go in there. Well, I actually think the reason I got such nice pieces is because not many people know it's a charity shop. It just looks beautiful. You would just not know it was. It looks a bit like a monsoon, to be honest. Um, so a lot of the nice stuff was obviously left there. They had some really beautiful clothes in there um, and it's all for children that are like teenagers that are, need hospice care. Um, and they're trying to raise money for hospices for children of that age bracket because they obviously have them for very small children and older people, but they're trying to find something for these younger people to make it a bit young and hip and a bit more them and a little bit more, make them feel comfortable while they're at the hospice. Um, so that's a really good cause, that's why I wanted to talk about it. Um, but when I went in there, they got such nice clothes and stuff in there and shoes, but they weren't in my size, unfortunately. But the first thing I did pick up was this. So I found this little Christmas set. Um, so it's a little porcelain set, originally from Hobbycraft. Um, and obviously it's just little porcelain, plain porcelain white. You can paint these and do what you want to them. I'm actually gonna leave them white. I'm gonna seal them so they're a bit more shinier than matte, um, so they don't get all that little prints and stuff on them. But this is four pound for this pack of three. And I love that they're so narrow that they're gonna fit on the ledge um, opposite on the paneling. So at Christmas, when I put all my garland, my wreath up and snowflakes, I'm gonna create like a scene that's all green and white, like sage green and white. And maybe with a little pop of pink as well. But I thought these are just gonna look beautiful. And it was four pound for the whole set of these, which I thought was really, really nice. And actually, if you're going for that shabby chic vibe, you probably could have these out all, all year round, but I'm just gonna have them out for Christmas. I like alternating some of my accessories because it makes me more excited the fact that they're out. The next thing I got in there was this lovely little plant pot. So it's only a little terracotta plant pot, but I love that it's all marbled like this and distressed, which I thought was really, really sweet. It's really tiny. Yet again, that can also fit on there. I'm going to get like a little trailing plant or something to hang down. I'm probably going to keep it terracotta because I'm liking the rustic look. Um, and this was a pound from there. So I thought that was really nice. Also as well, in the little bric-a-brac section, I picked up this. I thought this was absolutely gorgeous. It's just gonna look so nice on my kitchen side. If you're new here, you will, you will find out shortly that I love a bit of white porcelain. Um, so yeah, I absolutely adore a bit of white china, white porcelain, I collect it. And I love it when we have dinners and stuff, being able to get it all out. And yeah, nice serveware really, but I don't like paying a lot for it. So hence the charity shops. So I picked up this lovely little jar. So this was four pound in there. Um, and it's really, really cute. And at first I thought it was like a honey jar because it comes with the little hole that you can obviously pop this in. I would love for you to tell me if you know what this is because it looks a little bit like a pipe. Um, but it's got little holes in it. I didn't know if this is an olive spoon. Um, it looks a lot like an olive spoon that you would get. Um, so I didn't know if this was a jar meant to be for olives. So you pick them out and obviously all the oil will drip down and then you just get your olives. Looks a little bit deep for an olive spoon, but I thought for £4, that was really, really cute. Um, so it may just be ornamental, but I think that's really, really nice. A lovely dark wood as well. And then also while I was in there, I picked up, which I thought was really sweet as well, was this lovely little brown wooden vase. And I'm probably gonna upcycle this in my charity shop upcycle video. 
Um, but this was two pound and I thought this was really, really sweet in their little lifestyle section. But what is really good is whenever I go into a charity shop, I find they have loads of these little trinkets. Now, a lot of people are going mad for Zara and H&M Home. And they would sell little bits like this in there with this sort of mango wood style, all that bohemian style stuff. And you'd be paying at least £10 for stuff like this. So you definitely can go and get bits from the charity shop instead. So this was £2. And obviously you can paint them up and make them into more your style. Um, so they are the bits that I got from that little charity shop. And then today I went charity shopping with my friend Sarah. She's actually got a YouTube channel as well. She's the Family Home Project. She's also on Instagram. I'll link all her details below. She's fabulous. You should really give her a follow. Um, we've become friends through Instagram. <laughs> but we met up because she literally lives five minutes from me. And she's the nicest girl. She's so, so lovely. And she's so sweet. And she's really into crafts and stuff and thrifting as well. Um, so definitely give her a follow. Um, but we went charity shopping, so when we was out there, we found some really amazing bits. I'm sure she'll probably share her bits that she found. Some of the bits she got were amazing. Um, but these are the bits I picked up today. So our first charity shop that we went into was Mind Charity Shop. And when I saw this, I know this is a bit big, but I thought I'll save it. So it's a brand new knitted jumper. So there was like a little knitted section and I think there's a lot of like people that knit jumpers and stuff and donate them to the charity shop brand new so they can sell and earn money for the charities. How gorgeous is this little blue with these little wooden buttons? I paid £1.50 for this so this is brand new and I don't know why but it's giving me such Peter Rabbit vibes. Um, so I thought I'm going to wash this, put it away and save it for baby because I thought with a lovely little like white shirt underneath and some like little beige trousers, he's going to look so sweet in that. Um, so for £1.50 and it's all hand knitted, I don't think you can beat that. So I got that and it's the most beautiful colour blue. So I got that thing there. Also as well, we're going to the next shop along and we found these so i'm always banging on about christmas <laughs> and autumn and all things that are festivity you know you know with like festive stuff um but i love saving baskets and stuff to make hampers at christmas now i know it is only summer it is july it ain't even july yet it's the end of june it is the end of june <laughs> and i'm already talking about it but i don't care so at christmas time even in the charity shops these will be about three pound four pound each 80 pence each in there, they've obviously got the plant liners in there, so you can obviously put poinsettias in these if you're going for cheaper gifts. I will personally be taking the plastic out, putting some really nice straw in these, and filling these up with nice biscuits and chutneys and stuff like that, as little hamper gifts or beauty hampers. I just collect these throughout the year, and then it doesn't cost me a pretty little fortune at the end. And to be completely honest, people that I know that don't keep their hampers, they don't like it, they go, do you want the hamper back? And why not? I'll try it with someone else. I did actually make a hamper for Gary's Nanny Randall this year. We went to our local garden centre and got some really nice little bits to put in there. Like really, really lovely little like farm foods and stuff in there. But I had this hamper and I decorated it with some really nice ribbon, dried orange slices, um, firm bits off of the tree, like Christmas tree parts. And it just looked beautiful. And she's actually kept the basket out. It just looks lovely because I used the faux foliage instead. Um, and they've got like bottles of wine and stuff in it. It's really, really cute. So I just thought I'm saving these 80 pence each and I definitely would say if you're a hamper maker, get these in the charity shops while it's summer because then you can put them away. Um, so we went on to the next shop. Next shop, I come over really funny. I was in there and I got so hot. I think it was my mask and my blood pressure and I was like, I've got to go outside Sarah. And I'm not gonna lie, I did feel a bit awkward, but I thought I've got to get out of this shop because if I do actually go over, my bladder's pretty full from the costa we've just had, and I thought, uh, I might wet myself if I pass out. So she <laughs> she kindly went to buy this, and then just as I sort of felt a bit better, I went into the shop and realised where she'd seen me pick it up, and I just put it down to get back out of the shop. Um, she was gonna buy this for me, but I was like, no, absolutely not. I'll get it, it's fine. Um, I just thought this was really, really sweet. So this is 199, um, and this is a really lovely white porcelain jug. But what I love about it is it's got this beautiful, like, gold rim and it's got these lovely little gold speckles on the side. Now it does say on the bottom for ornamental use only. Um, so a lot of my jugs that I get from charity shops and stuff, I will wash them, bleach them out completely, make sure they're completely sterile and then just use them as normal. Um, but I do have a few little jugs that I will just put like little eucalyptuses in and stuff like that. So maybe as the seasons sort of change, I might just put little flowers or, you know, some autumnal leaves and stuff in this and just prop it on the table with a few other pumpkins and little bits and bobs 
I thought this is really nice for $1.99. That charity shop was actually, so, yeah, there's St. Helena's Hospice. Yeah, so from St. Helena's Hospice, and I think this one was from, I can't remember where this one's from. Really, really nice though. We then went on to, oh, this is also from St. Helena's Hospice. So I thought, well, how cute is this? I'm really getting addicted to reds and pinks at the minute. I'm really loving all these vibrant colours. And I saw this t-shirt and I thought, this is a nice t-shirt in a size large. This is £3.50 and it looks hardly worn in its gap. Um, so it's a nice just pink t-shirt, but I think it might be modernity because it's got that really low scoop with loads of room in the front ready for bump. And I thought, even if I just wear this indoors as a loungy sort of top, lovely long sleeves, and the little cuff, proper cuffs at the bottom. I thought even if I wear this at home as something comfy, it's just a really lovely vibrant colour. It's got lovely little buttons down the front and it's such a nice made cotton. I think gap stuffs tend to be quite nice anyway. So I've got this in the same place we actually got the baskets. So I got that as well and thought that was really sweet. Then we went on to the YMCA. So when we went in there, they had a rail in there that was all like priced items. We had a little, little look through. Sarah got something beautiful in there, this lovely jumper. Um, but when I went in there, I just was like, there's not really anything for me. And we're different sizes as well. So she obviously could see a different size bracket. There was nothing in there for me personally. But I saw this jumper and I saw it and I thought, that's a really nice colour. So if you look, it's like a grey. And Sarah actually was like, it's an oatmeal colour. I was like, what is that peach colour in it? I can't work it out. Um, but like an oatmeal colour. You can't tell on the camera, it looks a bit more grey than it does in real life. Um, it's got more, much more of a beige tone to it. But I bought this because this went in the sale for 50p, originally from £2. But you know what's happening to this bad boy. The sleeves are coming off of this. It's nice, thick, woolly jumper. And I'm going to be making beautiful little pumpkins with this. This is the sort of thing that I talk about every year. I'll be getting these as reserves. So what I will do is I'll just cut this into the scraps that I need it to, put it in my little fabric bin. Anything that's left over, I'll go and take it to the fabric recycle. And yeah, I thought that was really, really cute. 50p, I'm gonna have some really beautiful little pumpkins and I'm gonna add some little raffia and some cinnamon sticks to them, make them look really pretty. If you are practicing early, I'll put the link below in the description box below um, of the pumpkin video of all the knitted pumpkins because I know that I wanted to start early with those as well. One, for something to do, and two, I wanted so many to make like a feature of it. They take a little while to get your, your like bulk up of them. So the next thing that we picked up was we went to, I might say on the bottom of it, no, it doesn't say what one it was. It's another charity shop. It's the big one right down the end towards the seafront. Um, but we went in there and I saw this jar and I just thought, is it me or does it look very pumpkin-y? It's got all these like segments on it. And I actually said to Sarah, I might put like a little fake stalk on the top of this and spray paint this orange and have this as a pumpkin jar just to fill with sweeties for the kids come autumn. But as I've sort of unpacked it, I'm starting to just really like the look of this jar. Um, I'm definitely going to sand the lid down and stain it a different colour because it's a real honey wood and we tend to have a lot more like darker woods in the house or like at least with like a bit more of an ash tone to them, not so yellow. Um, so I'm definitely going to sand the lid down anyway and stain this different. But I don't know whether I'm going to turn this into a pumpkin or not. But I just thought if not, then I will fill it with some like really, really lovely orange gummies or something come autumn so I thought this was really really cute and this was five pound in there which I I find sometimes I get things for 30p 60p that kind of stuff I find that this is my more dearer charity shop haul even though it's still bargains if that makes sense so five pound I was a bit like mm, five pound for jar but if I bought that in a different shop it would probably cost a lot more so I thought yeah I'll definitely get that and it's such nice thick glass I think it might be that eco glass because it's got a tiny bit of a greeny grey sort of tinge to it it's not completely clear and that eco glass has that and it is very very thick as well and um, so yeah this has been my little charity shop haul I'd probably say my favorite things are the little dish I'm loving this and probably the little Christmas tea light houses. I just, I think it's because it's white porcelain. Um, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I've been Rosie Henshaw. Take care. Have a lovely rest of your week, guys. Bye.